Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerdlings of all ages, or welcome to this week's Tavern Brawl. Now, before I begin, congratulations to Alan Almeida from Brazil, who wins this week's free pack of Hearthstone cards. You can win a pack yourself as well. Just go to the video description and click the link to enter the competition. Best of luck, and you have until the next Tavern Brawl starts to get your entry in. Now, this week's Tavern Brawl is Valera's Bag of Burgled Spells. Valera has stolen spells from every class and filled your deck with them. Each of these spells will summon a random minion of the same cost when played. Basically, it's an RNG Tavern Brawl, okay? But what cards you get is RNG. What you do with them and what you play around, different story. But there are, frankly, quite an awful lot of combinations. So what we're actually going to do is just YOLO it up and see what happens. So um, hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying this week. It's a little bit of an easier Tavern Brawl, I'm not going to lie. There's no crazy deck building or anything like that, which we all thought might happen with Angoro coming out and stuff. But no, it's going to be nice and easy. Which is, you know, it's fine. You got to have some of everything, right? I always do. So strictly speaking, this is actually on curve. And I'm going to get to play uh, Coin Fist of Jaraxxus if I want to. Potion of Polymorph is fun. Um, but we're going to YOLO a single Fist of Jaraxxus just because. Feral Spirit is excellent. You summon a minion at the same cost, but the spell, obviously, summons two minions on its own. That is a brilliant card to play. The pleasure is mine. Will I play it on turn two is the question. Depends on if a two damage oh, minion is played. Ooh. Yeah, YOLO. Let's go. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty sexy first turn, even with the uh, locked mana crystals, isn't it? Not bad. Grievous Bite, slightly annoying. Not gonna lie. YOLO. And that actually, yes, loses you a mana crystal. So that's awkward for you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and get rid. Oh, Freezing Trap. I'll take Freezing Trap. Very nice. I get more Spirit Wolves. Well, just the one, actually. I really wish I, it became Feral Spirit again. That would be rather delightful. But all good. Oh, Misha's slightly annoying. Okay. YOLO. Oh, Dreadsteed is excellent. Oh, how delightful. How positively delightful. All right, board presence doing well. This is all very, <laughs> very RNG so far. And I can use Demon Fire on an Imp if I need to. The Potion of Polymorph can be played together on the next turn. I can then technically use a hero power if I wanted to, but I get the feeling that Siphon Soul is going to be way more powerful. Oh, Vanish, obviously, is my comeback mechanic here. Um, if you play some amazing stuff. Oh, that's painful. Well, strictly speaking... Oh, wow. Hang on a second. I might have changed my... I think I might have changed my plan. Ooh. Oh, that is gross. That is positively gross. I will happily take that right now. I must safeguard. Did you just do that? Oh, okay. I thought you just did that to the Dreadsteed. I was like, what? the hero never mind never mind we are doing quite all right now bloodlust is going to make things very interesting indeed oh my 
Devolve Shall has certainly done hands? something very interesting there. Okay. So that's going to be useful for the Arcane Anomaly. There's a lot of Inspire going on here. Oh, he's about to ruin my fun. Alright. We have to think about this one. Tricky. Hmm. Vanish is a possibility. Then I'd only get to play one more. No. It's gotta be Potion of Polymorph and it's Haunt, isn't it? We have to try and clear the board. Come, midnight. We do have to try and clear the board. Now in theory, no, Inspire doesn't do anything there. So that's okay. So we're gonna go with the Taunt. Hopefully the Potion of Polymorph plays some absolutely crazy thing. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Technically, by the way, if you, um... What you want. That doesn't count as summoning a minion. Uh, sorry, playing a minion, because it's after your opponent plays a minion. So, a little bit tricky when it comes to that, but never mind. Excuse me, you are on fire. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Now, Hunter Secret. Well, I don't know what that is. No clue what that is. Siphon Soul might be a good shout here, though. Let's see. I can take the hit. And let's see what happens here. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Dark Trap. That, that's just fine. I'm doing okay. I didn't consider the Dark Trap. Of course, this isn't constructed. Obviously. All right, we're doing okay. This is slightly awkward. I wonder. I feel like I should be playing the Tempo Bloodlust. So let's see what happens. If I steal first, Tempo Bloodlust. technically have to get rid of everything, which is slightly annoying. But, let's do it. Let's do it. So I get the Shadow Madness back, obviously, which is somewhat useful. There's a lot of swing in this game, isn't there? And I still haven't needed to use the Vanish. I really hope I don't. I mean, give me oil. Oil would be delicious. So many options. A 3-3 three, three and a 5-5 five, five is not terrible. But we will see what he comes up with. At this point of the game, you guys in your own games are going, This is crazy RNG. I had a full board and it all got wiped. Or I don't know how I was even gonna win that in a million years and then suddenly I won. I'm just gonna enjoy it. I need to not calculate so much. This is all a bit kind of crazy. Oh man, I hope this guy doesn't start roping on me. Is he gone? Come on, man. 
Come on, man. What are you doing? Don't go. Okay. That's a bit of a feeble... That That's it? What? I mean, alright. <laughs> Old Murkai, that's funny. Here we go. Now, if only I still had bloodlust, eh? Leper Gnome is not the worst card at all. Absolutely not. And the potion of polymorph is still there. For the crusade! Oh no! Slightly annoying. Oh my god, why won't you just die? Oh my god, why won't you just die? To seriously just die. Alright, come on, come on. This is all very awkward with the whole... Oh, I'm not liking the whole dealing lots of damage to my own minions thing. Fingers crossed this will work. Come on, man. Got him. Dreadscale is awkward, and Fell Cannon is more awkward. Oh my god. Well, that's awkward. That's very awkward. YOLO! Oh, what? Okay. Can we reset? There is still plenty of hope here. Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Has yes! And we proc the potion of polymorph. What's up, yo? Oh, that was delightful. Oh, this is beautiful! All of the swing. Let's get all of the swing out. Oh my goodness. Delicious. Now I can't play the Anima Golem. It's too dangerous. I'm hoping that hits. So many options. So if this hits the sheep, that's a good turn. Or I could actually just leave him there. Didn't think of that because I can use the Rock Biter weapon next time round. Oh dear, that's not mech. Yeah, I have to get rid of that. That's okay. Okay. That threatens lethal. And it's slightly annoying that the shady dealer goes down to 4-1, but that's okay. We have the head crack. We have rock bite a weapon. Not playing the anima golem was probably the right choice. Hmm. Okay. Is that... Oh, that could be Counterspell.
I have to, oh I get to play that. Is it counter spell? It's not counter spell. Okay. Here we go. Oh my. Come on, Baron Geddon. Help me out here. Right, I've got to be close now. This has got to be it. This has taken a long time. All sorts of swings and roundabouts in this tavern brawl, man. I mean, how long has this been going now? This is still game number one. I want my pack. Okay. I have a rock biter weapon. That could be an ice block. Gone down to three. I can proc an ice block. Oh, hang on. Let's find out. It is. Okay. It is indeed. Alrighty. Let's see what you can do. Oh, I'm so unbelievably lucky the Nerubian egg popped out there. That just gives so much credit to the Anima Golem. This should be it. I cannot see a scenario where this isn't it. I feast upon the light. That's 13. Oh. Well, that's awkward. What? Oh, he had lethal. Oh, he still has lethal. What are you doing? Why would you do that? Doesn't that just win me the game? My seal for Doesn't that just win me the game? What? I'll take it. I don't even know. I don't even know. I have a pack and I don't even care. I got it. I... I've obviously missed something very fundamental there, because I'm pretty sure after all those crazy, weird swings from this week's Tavern Brawl, I had that game won. Uh, so, had that game lost, even. Ugh, not the greatest pack in the world. But, if you're going to give me a win like that, I'm going to take a win like that. We're going to play one more, and it's going to be more entertaining, because it's going to be a bit more fast-paced. It is very difficult to counteract the swing in this week's Tavern Brawl, though. So not the greatest pack in the world for me this week. Hopefully it'll be a great pack for one of you because you're going to win some Hearthstone cards. Of course, you can go ahead and click the link in the video description to do that. In the meantime, let's see what happens in game two. Let's see if this is better. Valera versus Valera. Watch your back. I always do. <laughs> okay, I really don't need... I arguably don't... No, execute early on. Not that great. Not that great. Mirror Entity also not that great because you're mainly playing spells. Astral Communion could be fun. Could be very fun. The pleasure is mine. Uh, my opponent isn't really playing any minions. That's the problem. So it's likely going to be Power Shot followed by Astral Communion here. There's not really much else I can do. I suppose if I end up picking up a Sap or a Vanish or something like that, then the Mirror Entity gets propped and it's useful. But 100% of what's going on is spell-based right now. Can't even use the Power Shot. Ribush. Absolute Ribush. I guess I'm playing this. There's no minions to do damage to. Might as well get some value on the board. Maybe I can play Astral Communion later. Oh, that's awkward. And I get a bit more value out of this, but I don't know. Oh, so that's going to be interesting, actually. 
I feel like this is good value right now. Again, look, more swings. So many swings. Wow, okay. Lay on hands is good. I might not have an opportunity to use Astral Communion anytime soon, actually. And obviously I was never going to draw minions, but drawing more can be useful here. I have options. Thistle's he could be fun. Okay, he's starting to swing. I need to be careful. Whenever, oh, hang on a second. Whenever your spells deal damage or restore that much health to your hero, that has to go. That categorically has to go. And conveniently, that clears the board. Okay. So I can save on the crush. Thistle Tea is possible. If he plays a bunch of small spells, then I get to play Power Shot Solemn Vigil, which would be excellent. Doesn't look like it. I can save that for Power Shot. That's good. I am down to 14 health, though. And Astral Communion is no longer that useful. All right. The menagerie is for death. Let's see what happens. Curator, not a terrible card. Oh man. This is turning into a little bit of a slugfest again. <laughs> the self-destruct light bomb. I guess that's a thing. Let's see what happens. Ooh! Three copies of Power Overwhelming. Thank you! Oh, snap! Uh, guys... Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? That is delightful. Oh my goodness. Oh, and all of a sudden we have a win condition. <laughs> In the grand tournament, you win. Good. That's fine. It's totally fine. So that's 9 damage plus 12. Okay, so that's plus 12 there, guys. Remember that. So 6 plus 12 is 18. He's got 26. I have Lay on Hands right now. If I use Lay on Hands, though, uh, I'm just going to have a hand that's too full. So it might not be that useful. But on the other hand, Lay on Hands lets me survive until the next turn and I can play Conceal. That's probably the correct play. So I'm going to play it, and I, and I recognize that I'm about to burn cards, but it's okay. Because I'm going to hit and conceal. We should be good here. And if he replays the minion, I get to summon a copy. Okay. Now 6, 12, 13. 13 plus 12 is 25. Plus Hellfire is 28. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'll give it a shot. That's one. Two. What's up? Oh wow, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's delightful. Boom. 
One turn kill, random spell rogue. I'll take that. So that's it for this week's Tavern Brawl. Don't forget, you can go ahead and win some cards if you enter via the link in the video description. Good luck with that. And also check out the review that I did for the GT Omega Racing Evo XL gaming chair that I use whenever I stream and cast my tournaments as well. And if you fancy, in that video is a 5% off voucher that you can use on your own purchases. That's it from me for now. I'll see you next week for more Tavern Brawl. Take care.